suspicious is going on? Could they be hiding? Let's see what we can find. Okay, well... These Electro Monuments look a little suspicious. Um... Wherever in this world I roam. Oh, thanks. So, yes. We are at the fort now, and we are going to... Inspect said fort. I can get this thing to light up. Okay, you're not working. What is going on? And that's one. There we go. Was it drawn out by the electro energy? I'm not ready. I will have order. Here we done. Oh no, can I switch teams, please? Glad that's over. Ugh. As monsters go, that one was pretty tough. Um, but what's such a huge Thunderhome Lodge Earl, doing here in the first place? Is that what they're called? Okay. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Also, the atmosphere here? Because I'm on the creeps. Does it now? Anyway, the good thing is that it's over now. We should probably get going. Uh-huh. Tepe, what are you doing here? The, the logistics, dude? <coughs> oh, wait, he's... Wow. This is a surprise. I didn't know you were the ones investigating here. What happened? You had black hair. Now you have gray hair. What? I just got back from delivering some supplies to the front line. I figured I'd stop by and clear any threats in this area on the way back. <coughs> what happened? Are you alright there, buddy? You're looking slightly the worst for wear. I'm fine. It's nothing. I must have caught a cold a couple of days ago while I was out at sea. It, dude, you have gray hair. On my way past, I heard that someone had just arrived on the island to investigate, so I thought I'd come and take a look. Uh, if there'd been some real danger, I might have had the chance to be the hero. <laughs> Shame it was just you guys. Guess I came here for nothing. Pepe, don't you think there's something strange about this place? Right? Hmm. Now that you mention it, <laughs> there is something a little off about it. It could be that the Tatarigami is more palpable here, I guess. We're not that far away from Horobashi's remains. Who's that? Horobashi? Who's that? <laughs> I think Paimon's listening to me again. Oh, uh, God. Look, there's the corpse over there. Oh, yeah, this, that's the name of the snake ah, thingy. It's a gigantic snake skeleton. Oh, it looks terrifying. Paimon? We had to travel there so many times. Why? <laughs> Orobashi was the one who brought our ancestors from Menkanomiya to the surface. That's the origin of the Watatsumi Island you know today. Okay, my graphics aren't loading, so it looks like crap. I have forgive me. Our ancestors regarded it as a guardian deity. But during the Archon War, Orobashi invaded Yashiori Island. No, that's not good. The Raiden Shogun came out in person and slew Orobashi with the Muso no Hitotachi. That same slash also formed what later became known as Musojin Gorge. The Raiden Shogun created Musojin Gorge in one slash? Wow, that's pretty incredible. Uh, I mean, Zhang Li made the Guiyun's forest, so, stone forest. So, I mean, it's not that surprising. <laughs> yes, but the Archon War was brutal. <coughs> and Yashiori Island was completely destroyed during that battle. They say the Shogun lost something very dear to her along the way, too. Is this referring to her, her trailer? Since Orobashi's death, there has always been <coughs> some animosity between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate, but... Our different beliefs have nothing to do with why the Resistance was formed. We only rose up to fight against the Vision Hunt Decree. When Orobashi attacked civilization, the Shogun stood up and put a stop to it. But now that the Shogun is stripping people of their ambitions with the Vision Hunt Decree, it's time for someone to stand up and stop the Shogun. <laughs> What's that saying, though? How does that saying, though? 
you played the heroes for long enough and eventually you become the villain or something all right i'm heading back i was just dealing with some of the shogun's elite samurai so i think i'm gonna take a quick breather and it's on to my next assignment dude i think you need bed rest you should report back to sangonomiya as soon as possible don't stay here longer than you need to being around the tatarigami too long won't do your health any good are you speaking from experience, dude? <coughs> Take care of yourself. Hey, don't worry about me. Peak condition. I'm waiting for him to faint. I guess not. <laughs> Pepe sure made some big progress if he's already dealing with Shogun at Samurai. Pylon can hardly believe it. Let's report back to Kokomi. Okay. <gasps> My baby! <laughs> Kokomi, we're back! Oh, look, Goro's here too! Look at that bushy tail! Oh my goodness. Uh, what happened? They look so serious. Because they're talking about stuff. Approximately how many people are exhibiting these symptoms? Here we go. I haven't had the chance to do a full count yet. That voice will always take me by surprise. Kokomi, <laughs> Goro, uh, what's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. There it is. That was in the trailer. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. Again. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Most of them are highly ambitious types, vehemently opposed to the Vision Hunt Decree. They've been using these new weapons secretly since getting a hold of them. So that's why the war has been going unusually well. But risky secret weapons are not the answer. We must put a stop to it immediately. Goro, have you managed to acquire one of these weapons? <sighs> well, most of the officers refuse to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Oh dear. Do you know something about this? It's a Fatui delusion. I, okay, hang on. Because I don't know anything about delusion. <laughs> I remember, like I said, I, I joined the game pretty late. So I'm pretty sure it's Garamush is um, in the event that had Garamush in it. Official and Mona. They probably went into detail about it. And I thought, like, so for example... Uh, with child when i first fought child i thought he had two visions and it wasn't until i looked up on youtube uh child's fight and saw the comments that he has a vision and a delusion which is something that the uh cryo archon of snezhnaya bestows upon her 12 harbingers so i don't know what it is please go into detail so that means our secret sponsor is the fatui what did i say Scaramouche, hey But why would the Fatui do this? I have no idea. Uh, forget that. There's no time. Right now, we need to inform the whole army to cease using their delusions immediately. Oh, that's why Tepe was doing good. All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. What's that guy's name? He was in the comments, comments, comics, uh, the webcomic, oh, what's his name? But he's a scientist, and, and, and we went into his um, ruin guard lab. <laughs> I can't remember, but anyways, I have a feeling that this, he's behind this as well. Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with symptoms. Tepe. No, no, but I want to stay with Goro. Look, look, look. Ah. So that's why there's only 12 people in um, uh, the Cryo Archon's Harbingers who are able to use the, uh, the, the delusions, I guess. Uh, because 
they're able to withstand, I guess, the aging process? I don't know. Alright, we're in the area. Where's the bed? Oh, there he is! Oh! Dude, got older! Hey guys, what are you doing here? No! No! If I... Mm, wait a minute! Are we really gonna kill off a side character here? Just a moment, let me, let me get up. It's weird. I don't know where all my strength's gone. Tepe, you have to tell me. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. I haven't had time to give you the full details. Well, I made a lot of great contributions to the war effort lately. No, come on! I actually got attached to Tepe! Fighting <coughs> Shogun's army at sea, and taking on Shogun at Samurai all by myself, rescuing my comrades from from an ambush things i never would have dreamed i could do when you first met me Pepe. if only i were stronger still the stronger i am the more i can do for the resistance wait a sec where's my secret weapon god tell me about this weapon um It wasn't long after you were made captain of Swordfish 2. I met these mysterious people. Said they were with our supporters. They gave it to me and said that as long as I have the will to become stronger, a secret weapon will answer my call. <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, I've i never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. Okay, one sec. Um, I, it just dawned on me why it's called a delusion. <laughs> Man. Because <laughs> visions, it's like the ambition, right? As they explained in the game. And in it, because it, people, I guess they have the ambition to keep, keep doing what they're doing. Delusions gives them... It's basically what the definition of delusion is. It's, it's a fantasy. This is so messed up. It's basically... A delusion is basically a fantasy, a lie. That's why you're not supposed to feed into your delusions. Delusion? <coughs> oh god. That doesn't sound very good. So, what's the difference between a delusion and a vision? Good question, because I don't know. <coughs> I'm coughing. <coughs> Excuse me. A delusion drains the user's life force. Does that what happening to child? <coughs> Gosh, well, I suppose it's not too surprising that a mysterious weapon of unknown origins would come with its risks. I've been getting more and more tired over the past few days, and I have this strange sense of dread. Bro. At first, I'd find I was a little more beat than usual after a battle. Didn't think anything of it. But today, I, I got back and suddenly my vision was going blurry. No! He's going blind. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> ah, that's why it's called a delusion. Guess I didn't receive the favor of the gods after all. Hey. Would you do something for me? What is it? When our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here, <coughs> and we can change together. Oh, no! I refuse this. <laughs> I refuse to get attached to another side character. 
What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be bright as rain. Bright as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've rested up. Did he just... No! Okay. The Fatui. We're gonna go kick some Fatui butt. That's what we're doing. How's Tepe's condition? Okay, we're not gonna go emotional. He's taking a sudden turn for the worse. I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency, I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the ban, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but they still intend to keep using them. Mm. Okay. I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. What are your thoughts? I'll go confront the Fatui directly. No, it's too dangerous. Please. The Sakoku Decree is still in force, so their delusions must be produced within Inazuma's borders. To organize an operation of this scale, they will have had to mobilize a huge amount of manpower and resources. They can't have done it without local support. If we want to stop them, we have to destroy the factory where the delusions are made. But it's sure to be heavily guarded. It's dangerous to go alone. At least take some troops with you. There's no time for that. Your Excellency, given the urgency of the situation, we were hardly discreet when confiscating the delusions. The Fatui are sure to take notice. If we spend any longer amassing our forces, they will get wind of our plans and make their escape. Very true. Let me think. I gave this some thought while you were confiscating the delusions. The side of the factory must be big and secluded, but close enough to a transport route to ensure the supply of raw materials. Not many places meet these criteria. And if we take the locations where our soldiers receive their delusions into account as well, I suspect the site is likely to be the cliffs near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. Right. I'm not going to stop you, but please be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you too. Okay, let's go. Huh? You mean to the delusion factory? Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Uh, fine. They went too far. My baby. <laughs> All right, we're going. Oh, come on! I have to get rid of Zhang Li. <laughs> no hydro electro. Uh, how long has it been since they gave the electro? Oh, it's not just that. It's also Kazuha. Alright, we're in. Look for the person who what? Oh, did the roof just fall on me? <laughs> I'm getting hit! Oh my goodness! Don't tell me I have to go level up all my characters just to do this. Benny's no. adventure team, I have failed you. Stop, stop, stop! <gasps> Hi, Scarabouche. So, you're another Fatui Harbinger? Like Senora and Child? Mm. Senora and Child. <laughs> 
I didn't know you and my two least reliable colleagues were acquainted. Oh my gosh, that voice. <laughs> I'm the Balladeer. Number six of the Fatui Harbingers. Oh, he looked so cool. Delighted to meet you, almighty oh, traveler. So many visitors today. To what do I owe the honor? Your, your manufacturing delusion. Oh, so that's what this is about. That voice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think you've got the wrong idea. I know how this looks, but I'm just here to follow orders. I'm obviously not the mastermind behind this. Aren't you supposed to be pretty tough? What are you waiting for? Go get them. What? <laughs> You're getting all worked up over nothing. <sighs> Didn't have you down as being so weak. Eh. Who are you calling weak, boy? How can you say this is nothing? Thank you, Paimon. How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. Okay, what happened to you? <laughs> To make you say that. They were always going to die. With or without a delusion. At least having one gives them a chance to fulfill their ambitions. Bruh. Don't get me started on this crap. <laughs> Do you have any idea how useful the vision hunt decree is to us? It took a lot of work to make it happen. Obviously, it was in our best interest. So, did you make a deal with Raiden or is it... That you're just doing this behind your back. Good news is, our hard work is finally paying off. Generating conflict creates a big market for delusions. Now we just let the promise of power draw in the weak. Mm -hmm. For just a small price, they get the feeling of controlling the world. Trading their life for supreme power. Pretty good deal, don't you think? Mm, no. So, the Fatui I'm sorry, what? <laughs> They've been behind this the entire time? From the outside, Inazuma looks pretty impenetrable. But on the inside, it's a land of opportunity. With a little effort, we were able to break them down from within. Really? Eternity stretches things out over a long time. But each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. Take your friend in the resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. Boy! <laughs> Are you telling me Tep is going to die? Just like a bubble on the water. Beautiful for a moment, then total destruction. That is a terrible analogy. Leave bubbles out of this. The more it takes from them, the more tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. <laughs> it's such a farce. You have to see the funny side. Don't you dare, Mark Tepe. Hey, calm down! Are we fighting him? Uh, no! What just happened? <laughs> Eh? <laughs> That's it. Just like that. Embrace the anger. Embrace it! What? The wrath of the gods fills this factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> What's happening? Get up! <gasps> Yay! I'm sorry. Wait! How'd she get there? Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> okay, that's positive. 
Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. Okay, but what were you doing there? It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. Ugh. Something. Uh, how come you're acting so differently from when we first met you? Am I? Maybe it's because I had the other shrine maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. Oh. Uh, okay. People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society. <sighs> At the moment, anyway. And I'm just doing as I please. Sounds very kitsune to me. Uh, I might didn't quite follow. <laughs> Study humans a while longer, my little friend. You'll see what I mean. How did you save me from the val Valadir? Right! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off our backs! What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Valadir down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? <laughs> well... Maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Um... Why do she have two vision? I mean, they're both electro, but like... The earrings, is what I'm trying to say. Hmm... Maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. Thank you ever so much, Yae-sama. Yae I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> hmm. The delusions. They're still on your mind, aren't they? Yes. You needn't worry. The leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah, oh, I must say, I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> well, anyway, that's Ungonomiya Kokomi. She really outdid herself this time. I'd love to have another chat with her again in person, but alas, Belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. Yeah. A hindrance? Should you really be saying that as the Gucci of the Grand Shrine? Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. So is this why you rescued me? You've met her, right? You mean the writing children? I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? Puppet? Is that what I thought? You mean... In... In that place? Yes. The true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Is that what that was? Her name is A. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? So there were two of her. And does that mean that when the battlefield changed, so did the opponent? There were some subtle differences. <sighs> because this is the Raiden Shogun's eternity. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. Uh, you lost me. Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. 
Um, and since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. Really? So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. Wow. She shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Okay. It makes sense now. Huh. <sighs> this is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. Zhang Li also men mentioned erosion. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liu as Archon. What a fascinating god he is. <laughs> oh, what was that supposed to mean? <laughs> it seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? I was about to say. <laughs> because she, she, from her trailer, it looked like she was um, upset, right? Because she lost all her friends. So she locked herself away. And shut down her emotions. Oh, man. The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. Wow, talk about getting into the ph philosophical part of the game. And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of loss. I kind of figured. <laughs> I'm still not sure what you want me to do. The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. Okay. The key is that the Plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there, and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. Alright. So this is your plan? To abolish the Vision Hunt Decree? Not by talking her out of it, or through an armed resistance, but by, uh, hopping inside the Raiden Shogun's inner world? Yep. You're a fast learner. In short, this is the last chance to get Inazuma back on track. Otherwise, an eternity of darkness awaits. I still have one question. Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. What? That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because she has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Is it because I'm an outlander? Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. It's very scary. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say, well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? Anti Raiden Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Come along. <laughs> 